Hey, we are back. Um, back. Oh shit. Um, sorry about the um slight echo there. I accidentally had my own Twitch open. I had Twitch open, so I think <laughs> my voice might have come out of the speakers for a second. Ooh, okay, so God, I was supposed to be here like way earlier today. I wanted to stream earlier, but technology has been kicking my ass. Um, I actually, <laughs> I accidentally just streamed a second and um, had to stop the stream and delete the VOD because I accidentally um, showed like a, a piece of paperwork that I had to send to my freaking uh, rental agency on stream. And I was like, okay, whatever, let's just start again. I'll get rid of this VOD. I don't need this to be just like on my... <laughs> let's... You know, sometimes you just gotta, you know, delete the VOD, start again. <laughs> welcome, welcome. How's it going? God, what a mess. Yeah, I just had such a messy, messy moment there with technology this morning. Oh, it's probably because it's a little bit warmer as well. I think it's back to 30 degrees here. And so my brain is, of course, not working again. Um... But yeah, you know, that's just, you know, how it is. Just got to deal with it. Okay, what's going on now? I don't need any more technical issues. Thank you. Thank you very much. There we go. The pen's working. Pure art stream. Well, yes, pure art stream, yeah. Because anyway, it was going to be a chess art stream, um, you know. But then, uh, you know, I had some technolog technological difficulties. Let's just put it that way. And I realized that I wouldn't really have time to, because um, I have a friend coming over in an hour who I'm, I'm, I haven't seen in ages who helped me out last year, helped me move last year. I'm going to make them some lentils. Because that's what I do a lot at the moment. I make a lot of lentils, <laughs> and so yeah, I was gonna I was gonna do art and chess at the same time, but I'll do that later instead because I don't want to start a um, a long chess game and then not be able to uh, follow through. You know. So yeah, a bit of an art stream, a little bit of a doodle stream. Um, I'm, you know, really trying to. Get back into, you know, the habit of streaming. Get back into the swing. Um, <laughs> get that confidence working again when it comes to just hitting live, you know, broadcasting or whatever. But yeah. I thought maybe, you know, just to change it up a bit, I'll draw some more, um, some more rent up. <laughs> Howdy, how's it going? Yeah, originally this was going to be such... Uh, this was going to be... You know what, we'll do it later. We'll do it later today. I'll come back and I'll, I'll do the stream that I was planning on doing, which included face cam. Hello. Face cam, because I'm sitting in my wheelchair right now. So, yeah, originally the stream was supposed to have chess and face cam and me drawing, you know. But technology has just been kicking my ass. What can I say? My webcam refuses to cooperate. Um, and also, oh my God, at one point, at one point earlier, um, I don't know, nothing was working. So I was like, okay, screw it. I'm going to, I'm going to restart the computer, you know, as you do, right? When nothing works. So I, I restart the, the computer and it gets stuck on the restarting screen, which is something that happens, right? So I'm like, ah, oh, well, this is a little bit stressful, but it's fine, right? It's fine. I'll just I'll just force the restart by pressing down the button and we'll be fine, right? And so I restart the PC. And it says could not load profile or something when I try and log into my account. And I'm like, what? And then it 
like loads up a guest account, I think, because they didn't have my background, they didn't have my wallpaper. And all of my software started telling me, started, I started getting pop-ups from all of my software saying like, thank you for installing this software and using it for the first time. And I was like, okay, did my computer just delete everything? And I just, I was like, okay, okay, okay. Do not freak out. Don't start crying. Don't start freaking out. Because if you start freaking out, you won't be able to stream because then you'll just be too freaked out. So I was like, okay, just breathe, breathe, breathe. Restart the computer again. <laughs> And, um, and, uh, and I reached out to the computer again and here we are. So it seems to be working again, but it was a very scary moment because when I looked online, I don't know, I was like, okay, this looks like a problem that would not be easy to solve the missing profile thing with all of my stuff just gone, but it seems to have come back. So I'll just, I don't know. <sighs> Your audio is much better today. Well, thank you, Ash. Thank you. We are today. We are, we are arting a little bit. I'm crystal clear today. Oh my God, that's really good to hear. It's really good to hear because honestly, the amount of technological problems I had just trying to set up the screen, for the, the stream for some reason, um, it's got me doing, it's just, just it, yeah, it had me, you know, almost having a bit of a freak out. But then I didn't have a freak out and I'm I'm proud of that. I'm proud of that. I managed to stay calm, which is a good thing, I think, in uh, situations of technology, uh, uh, you know, technology refusing to cooperate now i'm doing this all the way the, the, the wrong way here so actually i'm just going to get rid of all of this this is just don't do what i just did if you're doing art you know if you want to draw a face oh my god what am i doing help hang on ah ah <laughs> if you want to draw a face don't do what i just did okay hang on what no I would just like, yeah, round brush is fine. Thank you. There we go. That was just an awful, awful. Okay, let's 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 take this a bit more seriously here. Come on now. That's not how you draw a face. Corver Corver Day. That's not how you draw a face. What time is it on your end? It is currently half past two um, in the afternoon. And yeah, I mean, you're in the middle of your planning period. Oh, I don't know what that is, but it sounds good. Planning. Sounds, I like planning. I suppose, well, the thing is, though, is that sometimes I do get a little bit, um, you know, I'm an over planner, maybe in some ways. And when I over plan, which I do because I am an over planner. If things don't go to plan, I get really, you know, I get really stressed out and that's not great, you know. That's what planning kind of uh, makes me think of personally. But I'm working on that, you know. But planning is a good thing. But, you know, you're a teacher. Ah. You have a break from students right now. Damn. I wonder what's, what, what being a teacher is like. At some points I thought I might become a teacher. Um, I don't know. I felt like it was something that, something that I could have become, you know? Um, God, I'm really happy to know that the audio sounds good, at least. God, what a freaking relief that something's gone right <laughs> with this damn stream. I was really chuffed as well to have the face cam up because I, I got it looking quite good and stuff. And, um, yeah, but we'll, we'll, we'll get that working later, you know, it's, it's, we, we're going to get there. We're going to get there. Let me just. Nice. You can teach us. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know what I teach, really. I don't know much about much, you know. Um. So, yeah, I'm just going to, you know, I'm just doodling. Okay, to be honest, to be quite honest with you, I do have a reference picture up. And the reference picture is Margaret Thatcher. Because, <laughs> you know, I've just, I don't know, I've started, you know, I've started uh, wanting to do some political art, I suppose. And so I've just started drawing faces of people that I dislike, um, honestly. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, today um, we are drawing Margaret Thatcher, I suppose. Teach us how to... How to um, how to draw a face. Oh, God. Well, I don't know. I'm kind of te teaching myself as well, you know. 
But um, I do like starting with a bit of a blob, you know, a bit of a blob, bit of a potato shape. You know, it doesn't really matter how, you know, we can always change it later. You know, this doesn't actually look like Margaret Thatcher at all, but it does look like a, a human head, you know. And if it, if if it looks like a human head, then we're getting somewhere. That's the idea. And we'll just kind of modify it as we go, I would say. Now, I think with Margaret Thatcher, uh, hang on, maybe I can get, maybe I can get the reference image up. Well, actually, if I get the reference image up, you'll just be able to see how, um, how, how much it doesn't look like the reference image. So let's not do that. <laughs> the reference image is one of the first images when you look up Margaret Thatcher on Google. Anyway, so uh, I think her eyes are probably one of the most, um, one of the most uh, recognizable features about her, I would say. All art starts out as a blob. Well, that's a very good way to put it, actually. That is a very good way to put it. Like All art starts out as a blob. And um, music starts out as a blob. You know, you could you could take that all, you know, well, music is art, obviously, but... Um, cooking kind of starts out as a blob as well. Right? Cooking is art as well, you know, you could just keep going with this. Thatcher is a blob. Very true. Blob art. Blob art indeed. So I think, yeah, her eyes being very kind of, um, she's got this kind of droopy eye. Um, she, she's got very recognizable eyes, I, I would say. Eyes, lips, you know, her blue um, suit thing that she wears. We'll, we'll, we'll try and get the, the, the most recognizable parts of her down and kind of work from there. But I can't say, you know, I am I am practicing, so this might, this might not go very well. That's fine. At least I'm not disrespecting anyone because, well, who cares if I do disrespect Margaret Thatcher, right? It's a good thing about practicing uh, drawing faces of people that you hate. doesn't matter if you get it wrong. <laughs> okay, hang on. Uh, let's see. Just trying to, trying to find... Uh, find some lines here that... Now, I do think that we have started the face way too far up here. So hang on. Can I just, yeah, I think we can. We can just move this down. There we go. That'll be better. Because she's got very big hair. So we've got to uh, make way for the hair, you know? Okay, so, oh, no, hang on. Thank you. Okay, so um, her face is too, I would say, too wide right now. She's got a little bit of a more... What's going on? I like to use a big, chunky pencil for sketching. Um, so I'm using the 6B pencil. And I would be using a 6B pencil if I was sketching uh, traditionally as well. Preferably, I would say. I don't know. I just like how... Um, I don't know. Right, so her chin as well is quite quite recognizable chin, I would say. We'll have to work on the chin to make it look like it. evil eyes. Oh yeah, evil eyes indeed. See, you see how I've, I've kind of moved on to different parts of the face now because the start of the eyes that I've done here, I actually do quite like um, the expression we've got. She looks more evil in the drawing that I'm doing than the picture, which is good. Like we, we want to exaggerate the evilness. Um, but I've moved on to the face a little bit because I do think that, she, you know, she's not got this square, you know, kind of face that I, uh, you know, she's got more of a, um, I don't need, really know how to describe her face. It's, um, it's something. Okay, so here we go. That looks a little bit a little bit better. See, it doesn't really matter if, if the face is wonky, you know, whatever. S symmetry is really overrated. Um, well, it's not overrated, but let's just say in faces, it's just not... It's not really... As long as it's kind of just about, it should be fine. A little bit rough around the edges. I don't know why we've got something jutting out here, though. We can get rid of that. There we go. 
Um, now the next big part of her face, like the most, I'm just, so what I'm doing is I'm looking at the picture and I'm thinking, what is the next most recognizable part of this face? I suppose actually having the picture up would be good, wouldn't it? Really? I mean, if, if I'm being honest with myself. Um, uh, window capture and add existing pure ref. Where is pure ref? Please, where is it? Hello? Why does OBS hate me today? I swear everything, everything is against me. Um, technology wise, I mean. Okay, whatever. We'll get the we'll get the reference up later. I'll stop stop it. Right. Okay. Let's go. Um she has very recognizable and deep lines here. When it comes to the nose, I quite like to be, you know, less is more, honestly. Just do a little, you know, just kind of suggest it. Because honestly, if the thing is, is when you start drawing a face, when you start drawing a face, it's probably best not to get too committed to any part of it. Because, you know, later you might be like, oh God, I need to change this. So you might as well just use very rough little kind of lines. You know, don't, don't go full on detail of any, any part of it yet. Because, you know, you might just get to tunnel vision, you know? Right, so she's got like a little bit of a smirk here. Oh my god, Rob Rob. Maggie, 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 out, out, out. <laughs> Maggie, 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 out, out, out. <laughs> With the French accent. That was brilliant. Thank you so much, Rob. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the $20. Literally, I'm going to be able to buy dog food this afternoon, thanks to you. So thank you so much. That is really really helpful. I'll get some coffee, some dog food. Um, yeah, some basics for the week. Thank you. Thank you so much. And the rest will be put to one side for, you know, electricity bill. Thank you. So yeah, um, you know, I don't get too committed to any part of it, to be honest, the face. You don't want to get too committed because you'll probably screw up a part of it and have to go over it. And that's fine, you know, you just got to make way for your mistakes, you know, be humbled by, you know, by your own mistakes. It, it will be fine. Just, okay, so, um, let's see. Where, where, whereabouts does her mouth start and end? Now, with, oh my god, she looks so evil already. I'm, I'm terrified. I'm terrified. <laughs> Hang on, you know, you know what else is a very recognisable part of her face? Um, the earrings, right? We got to get the earrings in there. The pearl earrings. Um, that should blob doesn't exist. She can't hurt you. Yes. Just keep telling yourselves that. If it reassures you, <laughs> she's really starting to give me judgmental white lady perfect absolutely perfect perfect that's exactly uh, you know it's part of what we're going for here Okay, so these lips, I'm a little bit scared of her lips, but we've got to go for it. We've got to go in for the, the Thatcher lips here. Um, she's got lipstick on. Now, okay, so the, the dip of her lips isn't exactly in the middle. And now when someone that you're drawing has, you know, uh, you know, a, a part of their lips that are not symmetrical, you know, that's, you can include that for sure. Cause that actually might make them look more like themselves. If you, if you don't include it, you might actually lose some of that resemblance. I know for me, for example, one of my, one side of my lips is higher than the other. 
um, a little bit in the center. And if I draw myself, I would definitely include that. Okay, so um, let's see. Now, like with everything else, I'm really trying to be really light with my, I'm not committing to, you see how I'm not even, I'm not even really drawing the lips. Like if you really think of lips, like you would probably think of them like this, right? But I'm not going to draw all of these lines. I'm just suggesting, right? So instead of drawing something like that, I'm just kind of like hinting, you know, hinting at the top, hinting at the middle, hinting at the edges, right? Right, okay, so actually I might just go in with some shading. I'm, I'm a little bit done with um, lines right now. So I'm going to go in with some values. Oh my gosh, she looks so evil. How have I made her look so evil already? This is terrifying. Okay, so um, I'm going to go out with some values now. Because I don't think that lines are actually going to serve us to... Because the thing with lines is, is, it's good to start off a drawing with lines. It's reassuring, right? I understand. But after a while, you've just got to take the plunge and you've got to go in with some values. And values is what I call, um, you know, just kind of... Um, this is like a value. This is a value. This is a value. But this is line. This line. Okay, so... I've got to try and find where her lips start and stop. It's, it's very important, the lips. Um, to get them right. I've, I've, I've gone too far. I'm so sorry. Okay, so the reason I've gone too far here is... Okay, let's just back up a second. Now, the other day, I spent about two hours drawing Elon Musk's lips. And I think it kind of... It changed me as a person. Um... But now I have this very deep knowledge of how to make, you know, how to draw the most infuriating smirk you've ever seen. So, you know, who's the real winner here? <laughs> I'm sorry for your suffering. Well, I do it to myself, to be honest, to be fair. To be fair, you know, I do it to myself, you know. I don't know why. But here we are. Right, so I recognize right now that I've made a mistake here. Her top lip is actually... Hang on, let's just fit in all of the lips here. Margaret Thatcher emo phase? Question mark? Okay, um, fit in all of the lips here. And then I'm going to go in with the white and I'm going to just try and find an air Because the bottom lip is generally going to be a little bit uh, lighter or darker than the top lip, depending on the person that you're drawing. Because of, like, um, you know, one or the other is going to be sticking out more and casting a shadow or whatever, you know. Light is weird. It's just a whole thing, right? So I'm trying to find where the center of her lips are, because that's going to be a really important thing for making someone look like themselves. You know, the, the thickness of, of each lip in relation to each other, uh, all that, you know infuriating smirk yeah i've made the bottom lip a little bit too wide here so i'm going to shave off a little bit of the lip and i i see that on the left side here her lips actually a little bit thinner and then it kind of comes down and it yeah it's thinner on the left here and that's probably because of the smirky expression and that's why when you're drawing lips and people, you don't want to don't want to go for symmetry, um, because you know the asymmetrical thing might actually be part of the the expression of the person you're drawing or whatever. Now I say all of this as like I I you know I'm I, I'm only I'm just explaining what I'm doing here. Um, I'm not you know I'm still learning myself. I'm not a uh, you know this is part of my training you know drawing Margaret Thatcher here. Because I want to start making political kind of stuff, you know. Um, smug Thatcher. <laughs> he should pay your reparations for a smug face. <laughs> you lived in the city where Tesla was for a while. 
and you spent all of the time hoping to throw coffee at Elon Musk. Oh, God. That would be brilliant. Oh, God, what, what a moment that would be, eh? Okay, so back to Thatcher. Back to Thatcher. I mean, obviously, we can we can keep talking about whatever in uh, chat. Oh, you're doing a Celeste run. Oh, well, good luck with that. Okay, so I've actually noticed I've made her top lip a little bit too thin, which is surprising to say. Because, um, you know, when you think of Thatcher politically, uh, you would you would probably have her down as someone with thin top lips. But I am noticing that she has... A little bit more of a lip than Elon Musk. You know, for what it's worth. Right, so I feel like she's got a bit, a bit more of a dip here in the middle. Now, you know what I was saying earlier about getting too detailed on one part of the face? That's what I'm doing right now. So I'm making a mistake. So I've got to rein myself in. Stop tunnel vid um, stop tunneling on the lips. I've got to stop tunnel visioning on Margaret Thatcher's lips. I never thought I would say that sentence, but here we are, I suppose. And now we'll go back into, you know, some face stuff, some lines, um, some, you know, trying to find some, uh, why is she scaring me so much? Why is my drawing scarier than her in real life? Why do I do this to myself? It's fine. Can we see the source imagery? Well, I'd love to. Hang on. Let me just, I don't know why OBS kind of hates me today um and like, for some reason um let's see oh that's chat that's not what we want um oh my god i'm so sorry for what you are all witnessing right now uh sorry <laughs> no, no no it is possible don't worry it is definitely possible i was just kind of like you know i was i wasn't sure if people really wanted to see that you know Okay, so here we are. So as you can see, it looks nothing like her for the moment. Well, that's fine, right? We'll get there. We'll get there. Okay, so the nose, the nose, the nose, the nose. Now, I don't really want to use too many lines with the nose. I think we're going to work with values more with the nose. Just kind of trying to find... She's got... She's got kind of, she kind of just goes straight down here in the middle. Oh, my God, she's terrifying. Okay, hang on. Here we go. Yeah, see, nah, not lines, values. Okay, here we go. Now, noses are just hard. Like, honestly, noses are really hard. So this is, this is going to be messy. Strap in for a wild ride. Okay, so, um, I've, I'm noticing that I've, uh, this line is not correctly placed, which is very important. It must come up a little bit higher. There we go. That's better. The lines start, you know, up after the nostril. Okay, so I'm I'm worried that people might think I like Margaret Thatcher. Hang on. I don't like her. By the way, okay, there we go. Just in case, you know, just in case someone walks in here, like just rolls in here, you know, however you decide to to, to arrive, um, and they see me drawing Ma Margaret Thatcher and they're like, oh my God, what have I walked into? Okay, so here we go. Do you like Margaret Thatcher, Corv? See, this is what I was, this is what I was fearing. We've already got questions. 
O oh my Lord, what have I done? God, the nose is just a mess right now, but that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. We'll find a way, we'll find a way. It's funny, because even though it looks nothing like her, I do still see her. And so I'm going to pull her out of here. I'm going to pull her out of the, of the page, you know. She's not quite there yet, you know. She's definitely not ready. She's... she's <laughs> But she's, she's, she's arriving. Right, I'm really gonna... It does look like her? You think, you think. We'll, we'll get there, we'll get there. I'm, okay, so now, what I quite like to do as well is I like to squint at the... at the, refer at the reference. You know, try and unfocus your eyes. That, like, I know it's a weird thing to, to say, but try and kind of... So you kind of see all of the face instead of just part of it. Because tunnel visioning is what is going to, you know, really screw us up. Um, she's emerging. <laughs> oh, God. Right, so this is quite a quite an important part of her face, I would say, are these cheek, um, cheek uh, lines, cheekbones, cheek lines. And I think we're going to, hang on. Let me just, I might need to change the pressure for this. Right, yeah, let's crank up the pressure to the max because when you have arthritis, um, that's what you got to do. So we got to crank up the pressure on the pressure, the pressure, the pressure on the what now? Crank up the pressure because I'm going to do some shading. And so this is the part that, you know, is potentially the most painful. So with a very light touch, I'm just going to, start to shade her cheek a bit, you know, because I feel like some of these values on her cheek cheeks are very important to really pulling her out of the page here. You know, very important to get those those values in. You see how it's very, very important uh, values over here on the left. Oh God, I'm going a bit ham there. That's fine. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. We can we can be we can be rough with it. We can be rough with it. You know who cares? Disrespecting Margaret Thatcher is my favorite pastime. So I'm just summoning her. Oh God! Now I think I've made a chin too big, too long. So. Just be really rough with it, you know, just, okay, yeah, you know, pulling out the shadows here, pulling out the face. You know what, I do think that we're starting to get somewhere here, it doesn't look too bad, you know, there's a lot of work to be done, don't get me wrong, but, okay, so I feel like we've got some deep values here that we really need to pull out near her eyebrows which really do reinforce the the evilness of it all okay so now i do think that maybe the eyes need a little bit of work soon you know we're getting to the point maybe mm, Oh fucking hell! Sorry, Farah. I'm sorry for what you walked into. As you can see, I have I have written it down. I don't like her, by the way. You know, just in case. <laughs> I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry for what you walked into here. That's a jump scare. Jump scare. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's a fan art. Oh no. Is that what people are going to think? Ah, oh, shit. My whole plan has backfired. I was like, oh, finally, I can use, maybe I can use my art to, to, 
to you know to to to, to send a message and to like say things about stuff and you know what maybe people are just going to think I'm 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 a Thatcher stan what a mess what an absolute mess my life has become I'm kidding by the way it's just for comedic uh exaggeration I'm fine I'm fine I'm fine honestly honestly my my life is getting less messy I would say less messy um by the months you know thanks to thanks to you all not thanks to Margaret Thatcher um but yeah, as time goes on, I would say that, um, yeah, I, I'm managing to cook for myself again. <laughs> God, what is my brain? Like, how did I, how did I deviate from the, Margaret Thatcher to lentils? Yeah, pff, whatever. Okay, hang on. Um, right, so I think the hair no needs to appear because uh, she just does look like a face, right? And Margaret Thatcher is also hair. So, so let's get some, a hint of an ear there. I don't know. Got to get the um, yeah, oh, very messy. You know, just be messy with it. You know, I feel like being messy with it. it it's just so much more rewarding. Add some text under the image. Yeah, hang on. How about? How about this? Hang on. Oh, don't do that. We will strike. Oh, whoops. Sorry. Okay, hang on. We will strike. Is this legal on Twitch? It's art. It's art. Cancel. No. Edit text. No. Oh my god. It's fine. Okay. Thank you. There we go. Hopefully this, this gets the point across. Um, you know, hopefully no one thinks I'm a Margaret Thatcher fan now. Right, back to Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> Oh, have my emotes um have my emotes been confirmed yet? Because Rob Rob made us some amazing emotes. What what are these? Not yet. They haven't been confirmed. I'm so sorry. We've got some uh, the rotating Jeff Bezos emote that you can see on your screen was made by Rob Rob Rob. Legend that he is. Thank you, Rob Rob. And very soon. We will have that um, in chat. No prob prob. No prob prob. <laughs> Alternate text. Margaret Thatcher's grave is a gender neutral bathroom. Ooh. Okay, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. Oh, oh God, I did it again. It's fine. I'm a boomer. I'm a boomer. I'm a boomer. Okay, hang on. Add text. Margaret, uh, why is it white now? What is going on? Why? Okay, it's fine. We'll make it pink. Okay, hang on. Add text, please. Add add text. Mar Margaret Thatcher's. But hang on. Oh yeah, grave. Wait, it would have an apostrophe, right? Like Margaret Thatcher's donuts. Margaret Thatcher's grave. Mar Margaret Thatcher's... Can you tell that I don't type a lot? Like, I'm struggling with the keyboard right now. I never type uh, grave. Oh, actually, there's some software that I really need to try called OptiKey that uh, I really need to try with the eye tracker. I might try that live on stream, actually. I want to try and write with my eyes so that I can maybe start, like, making, you know, the, putting down video essay ideas without my hands. That would be really good. And, uh, yeah, hang on. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. Is a gender neutral bathroom
Oh my god. Thank you. How about that? Okay, I'll I'll just I'll I will hide the text for now. Because we, you know, we are still working on the art side. But when it comes to the type the typography, I do like the idea of the um make it small. I could I could, I guess I could just make it smaller. Could I why is it always why is it already looking hang on? Can I shrink this? Hang on. Oh wait, I guess I could just I could just hang on. Keyboard. I could just. Right. I could just put it is a gender neutral bathroom. And then. Just hang on. Ah, edit text. Oh, I'm trying so hard to make this work. Okay, now let me move it. Aha! Let's go! We did it! Okay. Oh, okay. Let's go. Thank you so much for the um for the recommendation there. I, I love it. I think we're really, we're really, you know, we're really yeah, uh, we're getting somewhere with this now. I'm I'm liking how it's how it's going, you know. Right. So, I'm not actually going to get too detailed on the hair yet. It was just a suggestion of hair. Um And now we're going to get back to, you know, the, uh, the drawing part. I am actually quite happy that we did this pure art stream because when I draw, when I play art, when I play art and draw chess, when I play chess and draw art, I don't art as much. But maybe later when I come back for the chess art stream, I will... I know that no one does this on Twitch, but whatever. Like, I'll play a game where, like, each person has two hours. Um, like, a real classical ch chess game. And that way, I'll be able to actually um, draw and stuff while I think. Because when, when you have that much time in chess, you actually don't even need to look at the board all the time. I really like playing really slow games of chess and doing chores at the same time. And, like... Um, yeah, kind of just uh, looking away and kind of, you know, rolling around my flat, doing other things and coming back to the board. I'm thinking about my strategy without actually looking at the board, like m deciding between a few moves and then rolling away and being like, OK, I've got to think about it, though, because if I go in, like that's quite an aggressive move, blah, 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 you know. So that could be it could be pretty fun if I'm drawing Margaret, Margaret Thatcher and chess. Oh, my God. What? 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 I hope I can get face cam working later. I really hope I can come back with the face cam. I was proper excited about it. But ah, then again, you know, it's okay if we don't have face cam. I, I don't want face cam to be like an always thing, I think. I, th I think I'll just, I'll put it on sometimes. I've got a, um, I've set up my stream to have toggles for almost everything so I can hide the dog, hide, um, you know, hide things, so... Okay. So I don't think we're quite there with the likeness yet, but we're certainly getting to a point where... she could be Margaret Thatcher. You know, a push. 
You've really captured the terrifying gaze. Oh, well, that's good. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Yeah, the terrifying gaze, I think, is 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 definitely the most important part, right, of her face when it comes to trying to get a likeness down. Um, you know, I'm trying to get... I think that we need a little bit more sharpness on this right eye here. I've made her a little bit too soft. There we go. Occasional face cam is fine as long as we have Ellie cam. Yeah, that's what I thought too. I've got uh, the Ellie cam is really coming along quite well. Like I can now angle the Ellie cam very nicely. So whatever whatever position she decides to 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 go into, I can. How is she doing? Oh, she's doing great. She's quite sleepy because when it's hot, her routine is she'll wake up around 11 a.m. Um, you know, she's quite a, a late waker. She does love to sleep. So she'll wake up around 11 a.m. and then she will go outside and lie in the sun. And it's hot in the south of France. It is hot. But she really does insist that I let her out. So, you know, I let her outside and she goes and lies in the sun for a while. And then she stumbles back in like a drunk coming back from the pub. And then she just like falls asleep until probably about five. And then after that, I'll probably give her some food because I, I feed her twice now in the day because it's hot. Like I think it's best. And then after that, we'll play some ball and like she'll wake up properly. But yeah, she really does like getting sun drunk at the start of the day. So this is her um, post sun drunk nap. I think um, I will, you know, I would like to set up the Ellie cam outside at some point so you can see her playing ball because she's very, very sweet when she plays ball. She's so good. She always brings it back. I've taught her to, to be so, so polite. Like she's, you know, she, she's very gentle because she's very enthusiastic about the ball. So I've had to teach her to like not, you know, to not scare people because <laughs> she's so enthusiastic. She wants to grab it, but like she doesn't have hand, hands. She has teeth. Um, but now she's much better now and yeah, she's doing really well. Your dog tries the same, but he's not sensible enough to come inside before he gets overheated. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. See, it's like, you've, you've got to look out for your dogs when they do that because, uh, you know, I do call her in, you know, I call her in after a while. I don't let her stay out too long because it is very hot here at the moment, so... Even though she does want, to, she loves the sun, and that's fine. I don't think I can just let her like burn for too long. Like, <laughs> oh, uh, a tip that I um, that I recently discovered that works so well, actually, that my sister sent me. If you have a dog, I don't know if this works with cats, but if you have a dog and you're a bit worried that they aren't drinking enough like it's really really warm and you don't know if they've been drinking enough and you want them to drink a big bowl of water just to you know reassure you then you can call them over to their water and while they're looking at you you can just drop a just a tiny drop of milk in the water and they'll drink the whole bowl it is amazing it is absolutely amazing it really is um honestly i really it does work so yeah that is, that's my uh my dog tip of the summer you know, for anyone who, you know, needed their dog to drink more. That is how I've managed to resolve that issue. You know, I do I, I, I do like my dog to, to drink enough liquids, you know, when it's hot. What can I say? I'm a bit of an overly protective dog dad. Um, you know. Keep, I keep, I'm not very good at this layer thing yet. You know, I'm quite new to digital art. Please do um, understand that I'm, you know, a bit of an old man. Uh, so we're, we're really trying to get used to it, but I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry about how, how much I'm struggling. Okay, so.
I wonder what would work on a cat. Well, I don't know. I don't know if that would work on a cat. I'm not sure if it would work on a cat because cats are, you know, they're a little bit more, I would say, a little bit more difficult to, to get to do things. Um, dogs are more, you know, they're a lot more co-op. You know, dogs dogs just want to be a team. They want to cooperate. Um, you know, obviously some dogs can be a bit difficult, but deep down, dogs really do want to be part of your team, you know. Whereas a cat, they are a part of your life and they're a part of your social circle and they're your friend. But I wouldn't say they're always part of your team. They're kind of on their own thing. They're on their own mission. They're doing their own thing. And that's fine. It's just a different way of approaching life, you know. Then again, I haven't had a cat yet as an adult by myself. So maybe I am judging cats before I... Well, not judging cats. You know, I'm not... I don't think I'm being rude. Well... I don't know, maybe I'm going to get a call from, from Kat later and they'll be like, well, I heard what you said. I heard, okay? I heard what you said on stream. I remember. <laughs> My neighbor's cat might come up to me and be like, hey, what's this about cats not being part of your team, eh? Your, your cat likes nutritional yeast. Maybe you can sprinkle it in, your water, in her water bowl. That's a good idea. Cats are the friend that shows up and leaves unexpectedly. Yes, Marxist maverick, 100%. I love your name, by the way. But yes, they are the friend that just, they show up, they leave. Um, it's always a great time. But, you know. It, it's, a, it's a different vibe. It is a bit of a different vibe. I would love a cat one day. I'm not, I'm not a dog. I'm, well, you know, people are always like, oh, dog, person, cat. I, I love both. I love both. I love cats. I love dogs. If I see a cat, I'm like, oh, my God, a cat. You know, and I want to I want to say hi to the cat. And same with dogs, you know. So. I'm going to get cancelled by cats. Just general cats. Just all cats. They are much more independent. Oh, 100%. A dog is like a little kid, you know. You've got a, you've got a, more like a little kid. They're more expect expecting of um, you. You got to entertain them. You got to, you know. I my days kind of revolve around my dog. You know, my life revolves around my dog. Cats better than dogs? You think cats better than dogs? I mean, fair enough. You know, some people do think that. I do love a cat. I love a cat. I looked after my neighbor's cats recently, when I disappeared from Twitch for a while recently. Um, you know, for a few weeks there, I was looking after my neighbor's cats, which is why I was able to just disappear, you know, um, financially. Um, so, and, and they were just, they were just lovely. I just, I do love a cat. They, they are lovely cats. But, you know, I'm not, I don't know, I don't know. I just, I feel like there's some, you know, there'll be a time in my life for cats. And when I do have cats, you know, you can bet that we'll have a cat cam. Dogs are like babies. Dogs are babies. Yes, dogs are total babies. Like when I make rice, I can't put any seasoning in the rice because I like giving my dog some rice. And that's just proof that she's a baby. She's a total baby. She's an absolute baby. But she's so, oh my God, my, my dog is so sweet. Like the other night I was in just some severe back pain. The, the day after streaming, um... After streaming three times, I was in some really bad back pain because when I stream, I'm a lot less, um, I'm a lot less physically aware of how my body feels because I'm distracted. And so I must have been in a bad position at some point. And so I had a really bad back and I was lying in bed and she jumped up and she lay behind me in bed and she started just like, she like lay against my back and putting pressure on it. And it was really warm. And I was just like, oh, wow, she knows, you know. Cat wouldn't cooperate with a cat cam, you think? God damn it. That's so true though, isn't it? That is so true. <laughs> she is very sweet. She is a sweetie. <laughs> mm. 
It's funny because I think that part of the reason I got a dog is because I'm probably more of a cat, like me as a person, really. If I think of my, if I think of it, like, would I be a dog or a cat? I would probably be a cat. And I think that's part of the reason I got a dog. Because uh, I don't want to be more like a cat, you know? Got to learn how to be on a team. Got to learn how to, you know, how to, how to, how to have responsibilities. I don't know if that makes sense. Like, it kind of, kind of sounds a bit wacky what I'm saying, but whatever. I mean, to be honest, it's part of what I like about streaming is that I can just say really rob wacky stuff. Well, not wacky stuff, but I mean, like, honestly, when I used to be a YouTuber, because I don't really think I can call myself a YouTuber right now, because, like, I'm literally losing subscribers and I don't post any videos, so... But it's just not the same vibe at all, you know? I would think about... I would think so carefully about every single thing that I would say in a video, you know? Whereas now I can... I can just ramble about stuff, and it's just so different. I'm quite happy that people are, you know, seem to be somewhat enjoying it um, at times, though, because it is so much more accessible for me right now. Your cat can sense when you're not doing well and she'll come and cuddle a lot more. I know, isn't it just brilliant? I swear to God, cats and dogs and animals of all kinds have made me into the person I am politically today. Like... If I think back, one of the first things that really affected me in this world as a really tiny kid was animals, right? I just loved animals. I thought they were great. Um, I thought they were really cute. And I, I could felt, I could feel the contradiction between our society and how it's set up and capitalism and like animals and how, I don't know. Like one of the first things that really, you know, impacted me politically, I would say, you know, as a kid, before I knew about anything else that was going on in the world. You know, when I was like five or whatever. And I do think that you can be politically affected when you're five. I do think that. I, 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 was, I was having political thoughts when I, was a, when, I was a, when I was really young, you know. People really underestimate kids um, when it comes to like, you know, what they, you know, what can impact them at a young age and stuff. Yeah. And honestly, right. Okay. So this might be a bit, this might be a bit, um, you know, it's a bit of a, you know, a bit of a tough subject to, you know, but whatever. Other people talk about it. I've had times in my life, you know, I am on antidepressants and I'm doing a lot better, but I've had times in my life where I was, um, you know, dealing with some very negative thoughts of the kinds that were like, you know, I want to end me if you get me. And ever since I've had Ellie in my life, I have not, I've never, I've never felt like before I would get quite close to, to feeling like, you know, I'm done, you know, I'm done with all of it. But now I just never, I just don't get that close anymore. And I think it's because of her because she's like a child. She's like a kid. I can't, I can't, I can't leave her behind. That would be awful. She's my, she's my, she's my child. <laughs> you know? So like there are just there are just so many so many reasons why animals are, are brilliant you know on a on a personal level on a on a more kind of uh, a bigger level too you know I like thinking about things on a macro scale on a micro scale and I think they're just so great I don't know truly give me so much hope Should I just put strike on her grave instead of we will strike? But maybe strike on her grave is like, comes across as an order. Which, I don't know. It's probably not great. Okay. It's, it's difficult to fall into the nobody cares about me type thinking when there's an animal who cares about you so much. Exactly. Every day I get up and my amazingly adorable dog is there and she wants cuddles and she's so cute and she loves me so much and I know it for sure like there's no doubt about it ever like it's just priceless you know there's no, there's no 
way of describing how much difference, how much of a difference that can make in someone's life. You know? It's, you know. You like We Will Strike? Okay, cool. Thank you for your input there. I was wondering, you know, about the phrasing. Now, I'm getting to the point now where I'm a little bit worried about screwing it up. And at that point, what I want to do, and this is obviously something that you can't do with, uh, you can only do with, oh God, I can see so many problems with it. Hang on. Okay, no, no, no. I said I was going to do what I was going to do. Select, duplicate, and now I have two Margaret Thatchers in my gallery. Horrific. And now I will make them into a stack. And then I'm going to work on this one. And that means that, you know, this just this is just for reassuring myself. You know, when I get to a certain point of a of a drawing where I'm starting to like it, and therefore I'm worried about working on it because I'm like, what if I make it look worse? Just duplicate it. She's multiplying. <laughs> <laughs> oh no <laughs> she's multiplying <laughs> oh okay right oh another thing that i do want to do and this this might look bad to me like this this might be horrific i'm flipping horizontally oh no it doesn't look too bad oh i'm not quite happy with that okay so this is actually a nice little tip if you're drawing faces if you're trying to draw someone like margaret thatcher or someone else um flip your drawing horizontally when you're starting to wonder if there's anything that looks wrong with it, but you can't see it looks wrong with it, flip it horizontally. And if one of the eyes is too low or too high or something, it will just jump out of the page at you. She looks a bit wonky backwards. She does look wonky backwards, but not too wonky. Not too wonky, eh? You know, could be worse, I think. But she is, yeah, she is noticeably wonky. I think maybe... We might be able to, oh shit, we might be able to resolve some of this, oops, um, by simply, um, hang on, can I just, uh, whoops, can I just, hang on, freeform, uh, how do I rotate, hang on, ah, hang on, okay. So she was a bit wonky. I think she's too, I think she's too, yeah, she's a bit wonky that way. So I think I'll just like rotate her a bit like that. And then, oh wait, hang on. And then I think that will help a bit. And then, I mean, we'll be able to modify some of the other wonky parts as well. But I do think that does help a bit. There you go. Do you ever do any self-portraits, the slow selfie? I have done some self-portraits, yes. Um, uh, but I don't think I've ever, I've ever done any dig digital self-portraits. You know, I, I maybe I should do some self-portraits, to be honest. I mean, I have done a, a few, but not in a while. And I think I would enjoy it. I do enjoy doing some self-portraits. Do you ever draw Ellie? Um, I've drawn Ellie like once. Maybe. But I definitely should draw her a little bit more. I mean, I could do a do a little bit of a an Ellie drawing later, maybe. You know, because if I just draw Margaret Thatcher and, and Elon Musk all the time, people are going to get sick of it. They're going to be like, I don't want to look at these people. Why are you drawing these people? Where's my cute content?
Now, eyes are just, they're really hard. Eyes are honestly difficult. And I don't really have many tips apart from just kind of, you know, trying over again and again until it looks kind of acceptable, to be honest. But it's difficult to get there. I mean, honestly... Hmm. I guess I could just leave her eyes empty. I'm just doing some shading, a little bit of shading, a little bit of values. God, I am happy that my computer isn't, um, you know, dead. That would have been worrying. You could color them red. Well, I guess I could color them red. But isn't that just giving her power? I understand, though. I, I understand the, 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 you know, wanting to do that. I'm just wondering... I guess I could try it. Wow. Kind of terrifying with black eyes, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Slowing down a bit at this point. You know, I'm kind of wondering where I'm going with it. Okay. Hello, Chipmunk, how's it going? I do feel like, and I've noticed this about myself, I start to get less chatty around the one hour mark. Which is fine. I'm just noticing. And I'm thinking, you know, maybe, maybe it's a sign that my stream should be like around an hour long. Coffee break. Maybe. I mean, Rob, 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 I could actually, well, I don't have any coffee left, um, but I could actually just, I could actually order some groceries. And I could get coffee. I think I'll get coffee. I'll get dog food. That's brilliant, actually. Coffee and dog food. And that will, that will out, that's, that's me set, isn't it? Coffee and dog food. We're going to be, we're just going to be unstoppable at this point. I've got coffee and dog food. Are you freaking kidding me? Thank you, Rob Rob, for your donation. Really does mean a lot. Oh, by the way, um, I was thinking when I do art streams like this and people donate, like, I mean, maybe not every stream because otherwise it would be maybe, you know, not feasible. But if, if you have a, you know, an idea for a doodle that you'd like me to doodle later, Please do let me know. Donos get doodles is what I'm trying to say. So I can I can doodle you something later if you want. You've got some kind of, you know, you've got an idea, you've got you've got a you know, 
Nothing, obviously, you know, within reason. But I was thinking about doing that. Um, you know, art streams where uh, I do doodles for... Doodles for donors. Your streams yesterday were all about 1 to 1.5 hours. Okay, that's very interesting, actually. I do feel like yesterday I... I was doing the right thing as well. Like I was leaving at the right time. Uh, the day before yesterday, sorry. Yeah. I was leaving at the right time, you know. I wasn't too exhausted. Um, I feel like I'd, I'd done an okay stream. Um, I, I, I want my streams to be entertaining from the start to the end and not be, you know, a lot of... Um, a lot of downtime where there's not, not much going on. Um, I do want to, I want to be chatty. I want to be my chatty self on stream. And I think my chatty self comes out for about an hour, an hour and a half at a time. And then, um, disappears. <laughs> it's a very manageable stream length to catch up on. Oh, that's very interesting, Ash. I hadn't thought of that. So you mean like as a viewer, if you look on my channel and I've done, you know, I've done some streams and they're all an hour or something long, that feels a bit more manageable to, um, that does make sense. Yeah. It does make it more manageable, manageable. It's very true. Very true. And also once I start, you know, once I start trying to, you know, maybe edit stuff and putting it on YouTube again, you know, we can, we can dream, um, it would be maybe easier to 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 edit streams and make highlights or whatever um if they are you know an hour or so instead of like three um and more manageable as well yeah so i think we'll be keeping that format for now that way i'll be able to come back twice in one day i i really liked streaming more than once in one day actually it was really nice it felt more more me to be honest than a big chunk much more me. I'll just finish filling, filling in her hair here quickly. Yeah, just a little bit of a shade shading going on. She does still look, look a, a bit wonky, doesn't she? But it's probably got something to do with her nose. You know, I didn't spend a lot of time on the nose. You know, it's literally just three lines in a in a trench coat, her nose right now. So that might be why. But, you know, we are getting somewhere. Thank you, Ash. That does mean a lot. You know, I haven't... I must say I've, I'm very rusty on the drawing front compared to, you know, what I was, you know, a few years ago or something when I used to do it every day. So it does mean a lot that you would say that. Um, I take it to heart and I take it as, as encouragement. So, um, did, uh, was it was it was it nice when I was like you know kind of describing what I was doing drawing wise? I don't want to come across as like oh I know it all you know blah blah blah, but if people do enjoy it then I will sometimes you know explain what I'm doing. Your drawings often look quite cubist. Oh that's interesting. Cubist, kind of like cuby. Like s squares, like square. I see what you mean. I, I, I do have a bit of um, an angular style, generally. I find that too many curved lines really annoy me. <laughs> they annoy me. I, I am annoyed by the curved lines. <laughs> well, I, just, I, I, don't, I don't know. I just, I really need those uh, angular lines to keep me invested in a in a piece, you know. 
You liked hearing about the process? Nice. Well, I will definitely keep doing that. Right now, I'm just trying to, I'm still trying to bring her out of the page, really. And I mean, the eyes are going to have to, you know, be a, a focus perhaps of the next stream where I draw her because, you know, she does need some work on the eyes here. You know, they are supposed to be the main part of the drawing and yet they're completely empty. I mean, kind of like her, right? But. Bring her out of the page, please no. <laughs> I think maybe actually what a problem that I've, I'm, I have right now is, okay, the hair needs to be a softer, softer transition. Does that, does that make sense? Like the hair here is just too... The, the, um, how can I say this? The line between the hair and the face is, it's just too there. It's too much. It needs to calm down. Now I'm wondering if I've made her forehead a little bit too big. Like it might be a little bit too, a tiny, just the, the smidgen, a smidgen too, too high. That Zilla is not needed off the page. That Zilla. That is brilliant. I got an hour and five minutes since last. Wow, well, congratulations. That's 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 further than I will ever get, I would say. Well, actually, you know, maybe I'll play it one day, but congratulations. Now, I think I also need to work on her cheek, jaw, slash jowls situation. I think they're called jowls when... Okay, so if I'm not mistaken when a person ages as we all do we get jowls more well depending on like who you are and what your face is like you get jowls more and it's where okay so hang on it's like down here and i think kind of like just a little bit of a, a tiny little bit of a saggy droopy like there i think that is quite an oh shit Quite an important part of her face. Hang on. So I'm going to try and find this jowl on the left here. So left is, Celeste is probably awful on arthritis. Yeah, exactly. That's why I didn't get very far. I bought it and everything because like, you know, so many people had talked about it and I started playing it and I was like, oh, right. Of course, I can't play this. <laughs> I can't play this, you know. Now I might be able to play it one day. Like if I get like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know how I would be able to play a game like that. Because, like, with an eye tracker, it's not possible. Even with an Xbox adaptive controller, there's just so much input that it would hurt me probably to do. Well, actually, there is... Uh, I don't know. Maybe when I'm older, I'll be able to find a secondhand quad stick. Which is... Um, it's something that people use to play games with your mouth. But like, yeah, that's not, it's not, not yet. But I think with that, I would be able to play Celeste. Okay. Just watch a playthrough. Yeah, I'll just watch a playthrough. I doubt I'll ever play Celeste. It's just not ever going to be something that's like, even, nah, nah. Whoop. I must go take care. Thanks for the chill stream. Well, thank you for popping in.
Oh my god, speaking of games, I've been wanting to play Slay the, Slay the Spire again. I've been kind of getting a bit of an itch that I've been wanting to scratch. And so I think we might do a Slay the Spire stream soonish. I need to set up the eye tracker again because I moved my whole room around. Um, I'll set up the eye tracker, get there. Oh, and Sims as well. I've been wanting to play Sims. Now, I haven't tried playing Sims with the eye tracker yet, but I think it might be possible. Good morning, Potato Planner. How's it going? I'm sorry, you're dropping in just as I'm kind of winding down. Um, but I will be, I will be back later for another stream. But I, I'm going to have to dip to go and make some lentils. I wish I could have said to go and make some dip, but I'm not going to go and make dip. I'm going to go and make some lentils. <laughs> I'm going to... Um, yeah. Lentils. Oh my god, my brain. It's because I haven't eaten any lentils. Lentils are really... really is what making my world go around right now. Um, you're glad you were able to catch this? Well, I'll be back. I'll be back later. I'm really sorry that... Um, yeah, I'm sorry for... Yeah, I'm sorry that... Um, yeah. My streams will tend to be around one to one and a half hours, I think, at the moment. Um, I hope you're feeling well. I'm feeling okay. I'm definitely feeling better than uh, than um, than a few months back for sure. Um, I would say that my quality of life uh, and my pain management has has it's all gotten better. So thank you for asking. Check out my dog right now. Isn't she just so freaking cute? Like. Yeah, it is good. And I've been managing, you know, I've been managing to make food for myself again, which I wasn't able to do physically for, for quite a few months. And so I was basically completely reliant on powdered food. But the, the past um, month, I well, I'm on some medication now that really helps with the pain and the swelling. Now, apparently, I'm not going to be able to be on it for very long, which is kind of disappointing. It's like they're giving me medication and it works, but they're like, oh, you can't take this for very long. It's like, what? OK, well, that's awful. But I'm trying to make the most of it while I, I'm on it, I suppose. And that's really been helping. Um, so, yeah, I've been starting to be able to make lentils and rice for myself again, which is just really nice. Um, I've been able to... I don't know, I just feel like I'm appreciating life again. I'm listening to music again, which is, like, amazing. Like I'd stop listening to music, you know. I, I, there's so many parts of me that just kind of fizzled out. And I'm kind of getting them back now. You know, I can, I can cook for myself again a bit. Uh, I feel like I'm able to, to communicate with people better. I don't feel like I'm... Um, I'm not isolating myself socially. Like I'm, I'm trying to keep up with my friendships, um, and all of this, you know, all of this that I'm saying, it's all contributing to a, a much better quality of life. And it's all thanks to, you know, it's it's thanks to well, it's thanks to my dog. It's thanks to to all of you really for for supporting me and for, you know, I don't know really. I just yeah, what a year, what a year, you know. Losing the ability to walk, it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a trip, I will say. It's a trip. Time to shine. Time to shine indeed. It is time to shine. It's time for art streams. It's time for, you know, ice cream. <laughs> I, I, I'm just going to go and, uh, I'm going to go and, oh, hang on. I haven't given my dog a treat for the donation. Right, I'll do that now. Rob, Rob, this is for you.
As you can see, my dog is now... Oh my god. Okay, I think she can handle that by herself. Oh, sure. She's getting it all over the bed, but that's fine. She's waking up with a, from a nap with food, yeah. And a little, a little cute little, um... A cute little box of, of, um... My friend brought this over for me. My friend was looking after some cats. And they... They, uh, they nabbed a little, uh, cat food treat thing and so they brought it over and I thought okay I'm going to keep this for stream and here we go she loved it mm, yum all over the beds lovely she looks very happy with that she does doesn't she <laughs> good job wow <laughs> yeah, she's a very clean puppy. She really is. She's very, very clean. Um, I wouldn't describe her as like a messy dog at all. You know, after after eating, she she actually, I don't know if she'll do it right now. But when I, okay, no, 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 you don't eat that. After eating, um, you know, when I give her a dog food, her uh, big bowl of dog food. She will jump on her bed and she'll just like smush her face into the covers and pillows and stuff. And she's basically just wiping her face on, on her bed, which is kind of gross. But I mean, it's kind of cute, right? Like she's trying to be clean in her own way. And honestly, at one point she was doing it on my bed. So I feel like that is a progression now that I've, I've taught her that she can do it on her bed but not mine. Because at one point she was like, she was eating her dog food and then she'd be really happy and she'd jump on my bed and start um, diving into my, uh, you know, my pillows. And I'd be like, uh, I'm not sure about this. You just, you literally just ate dog food. Can you, can you not? Your cat's a messy eater. Oh, I love, I love cats. I really do love cats. You know, for, for everything I said earlier, I do kind of want a cat one day. But I just don't think, it's not the time yet for me to have a cat, you know. I would need to be in a different living situation, I think. Maybe if I lived with someone else, maybe one day if I don't live alone, I would, I would be more open to the idea of having a cat. But I'm not sure if I would be able to 100% deal with the cat litter situation by myself because it is quite a manual I think cleaning out and dealing with cat litter is probably a little bit more difficult for me physically than dealing with dogs you know with my dog yeah there's more cleaning involved you know scrubbing you know all that yeah oh what a sweetie she's so cute I'm just going to give her a little bit of a stroke and a pat
<laughs> all right. Thank you all for stopping by for the stream. I'm actually so happy about this dog cam. Like, it's changed my life. Like, I feel so much better about streaming now that I have it. She does look sleepy. She's probably going to sleep a bit. It's still quite hot. She she wakes up. I would say she starts getting a little bit more feisty around, like, five or six. And that's when I'll generally, you know, play ball, um, try and tire her out by doing some training. Have a roll down the street, get angry at cars and then roll back because I can't go very far because cars, freaking cars on the pavement, it's oh, a nightmare. Then again, I mean, I wouldn't be able to get very far even without cars, but because of, you know, the wheelchair situation. But once, mark my words, once I have a wheelchair in which I can go further than 30 meters down the street, these cars are going to, it's going to be the end for them. It's going to be the end. I'm going to be calling up the mayor like, I'm sorry, excuse me. I want to delete all landlords and all cars. Goodbye. Thank you, Farah. Thank you, Rob Rob. Thank you, Bread Crochet. Thank you, everyone, for stopping by today. And um, I will be back later for another stream because, I don't know, I'm just feeling good about it at the moment, like, to be honest. Ellie, Smooth Jazz, Margaret Thatcher. Like, what else could we want? <laughs> By the way, I don't like her. I don't like Margaret Thatcher, by the way. Thank you. Okay, goodbye. Take care. Stay hydrated. <laughs>